All right, what's going on, Germs 1975? I've got another review for you, uh, one I'm really excited about. This is actually my first foreign MRE review, uh, my first foreign ration that I've uh, ever opened. I'm pretty excited about it. This actually looks like it's going to be really, really good. Um, this is a uh, Latvian Armed Forces Field Ration, menu number 7. This is going to be pea puree with smoked bacon. It's got uh, rye bread. It has um, rice porridge with apples. It's got chocolate, apricot jam, black currant jam, raisins. It's got coffee and tea. Uh, it's also got some power gum and uh, some other stuff in there. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this opened up and get it all laid out for you. So let's get this opened up. I'm going to open this up from the back just because I want to save this. I've got kind of a collection going. Uh, the one thing I'm noticing right away is the outer packaging is kind of flimsy. It's not like it's not like the US MREs. Um, US MREs packaging is a lot sturdier. So I could see this puncturing really easy. Uh, but so we've got our uh, our rice porridge looks like we've got a chocolate bar we've got our black currant jam and that made it and this is also the apricot jam i was really hoping that these weren't messed up and crushed and they weren't so i'm really good i'm really happy about that here is our rye bread sure that's going to be really good everything in this ration sounds really good and uh, got our raisins and we've got our uh, we've got our heater with our uh, flameless uh, tablets and we've got our accessory packet and then we have our main, which is uh, the pea puree with smoked bacon, and then that is it. Uh, so that's menu number seven. I'll get this all laid out and I'll be right back. All right, so uh, this ration is uh, has an inspection date of uh, March fifteenth, twenty twenty three. So it is a newer ration, I think now, and I don't don't necessarily know exactly what date it was manufactured. Um, I'm thinking maybe like 2020, I don't know if it's every three years they have to inspect or whatnot, but, um, I think they're black now. The, 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 the packaging is black. The, uh, amount of calories in this ration is 2,314. Uh, so quite a bit of calories in this ration. And, uh, so let's get this accessory packet open and let's see what we've got. Uh, we've got our, looks like our, uh, must be our tea, I'm thinking. And uh, got a spoon, and I've seen lots of other reviews on these, and these spoons are pretty flimsy, and I can definitely attest to that now that I'm seeing it. We've got our sugar. Another packet of sugar. Oh, no, this is our tea. I'm thinking the other uh, thing was a moist towelette. That's that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I think I think this is probably the moist towelette. And then we have a nice amount of uh, coffee. Four instant coffees. That's, uh, that's awesome because uh, I love coffee. So I, th I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Some coffee brewing and also get the tea get the tea going let's get that in there and let's get our Lipton tea They don't give you any cream, so let's get some coffee going. That's fine, because I don't mind black coffee. 
And let's get that tea bag going. All right. So while that's going, uh, what I think I'll do next is uh, I think I'm going to get this this um, rice porridge going as well. So it calls for 100 mils of water, and you're supposed to let it sit for eight minutes. So let's get our bowl and let's get this dumped out. Uh, kind of looks like, I guess, maybe like Rice Krispies. It's kind of what it looks like. And uh, yeah, smells really good. Uh, not too strong. Uh, smells smells very good. I think it's got it's got more of a vanilla type smell to it, I guess, than uh, than it says it, it's a. Uh, rice porridge with apples. I'm not really smelling much apple with that and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna kind of add just a little bit of water in that and let it uh, let it rehydrate. Let's see what happens with that. All right so let's set this off to the side and then uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to open up this uh, I want to open up this bread and see what this is what this is like. <laughs> smells it smells really good. It's uh, it's got a uh, smells like molasses, um, very faint smell of molasses, and uh, it smells fantastic. I don't really smell the rye. Um, let's take a look at that. Looks really good. And it's kind of stuck together. So let's, uh, let's give that a taste. It's really good. Uh, I can taste the rye for sure. Uh, it's kind of dry, um, kind of thick, kind of dense. Um, it's got almost a sour aftertaste, uh, which which is kind of normal for for a rye bread. I'm not tasting the molasses as much as I smell it. So, um, but it's it's very good. It, it, it could be a little bit more, uh, it could be, it's, it's a little dry, but you know, this is a military ration. So what do you expect? I mean, it's pretty darn good for a military ration. So I'm going to try this apricot jam first and, uh, looks pretty good. So let's get a little taste of that. That on the bread. That is excellent jam. It's uh, a lot thicker than most jam, but it's really, really strong floral apricot type uh, flavor um, very concentrated ap apricot flavor it's it's excellent it's almost like honestly it's just like eating apricots straight up apricots uh, it's fantastic really really enjoy that that's that's really good all right Let's try this uh, black currant jam. I'm going to try a little bit on its own. Again, 
fantastic. Both of these jams, both of these are excellent. I think if I had to choose which one's better, I'd have to say this uh, black current jam is better. So let's uh, get that on some bread. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Both of these are absolutely great. With that rye bread, that combination of the the sour sweet with this uh, rye bread, absolutely fantastic. No complaints with that. Um, I'm going to probably finish that later because that is excellent. So uh, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to save, I'm going to save this rye bread for the main, and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to situate my workspace here so I can get the heater going. I'm going to try to use this, uh, so I need to clear some some area for it. I'll be right back. All right, so. I'm going to give this a shot. I'm, I'm a little nervous because I, I really, this isn't really the place to be um, doing this, but I'm going to give it a shot. I, I So, all right, here's our matches. I like those little uh, rooster on there. Um, and they are brown tip. Got our nice UN symbol on there to make, make us, to let us know they're flammable. <laughs> And uh, got a, our directions, got a, a rubber band, not sure what that's for. So what we're going to do, and this is the first one of these I've ever used, so I'm, I'm assuming we're just going to bend these up like so. And I've got... I'm going to put that on top of that, and here are our um, little heater tablets, and I'm thinking that we don't need all four of them, that's what I'm thinking, but let's do three at least. They smell nasty. And let's get our, uh, let's get a lit here. Hopefully the smoke detector won't go off. All right, well that goes. Let's move it over here. While that goes, I'm going to open this up. Give that a look. Looks good. Oh, it smells amazing. That smells absolutely amazing. It smells like split pea soup. That's what it reminds me of, which is probably pretty much what it is. Um, so I'm going to leave this lid. Hopefully I didn't tear it off too much. And I'm going to put it, put it right on here. And then I got this to cover it because... I think it's going to splatter all over the place. Um, and we're going to let that cook. While that cooks, I am going to try this uh, try this coffee, see how it is. All right. Uh, it's Nescafe, so it's relatively new. I've had this before. Uh, it's very, very good. I'm... Very pleased with the taste of that coffee. Excellent. Yeah, and I'm glad they give you four. That's amazing. Uh, normally, in the U.S. rations, you get one. So, uh, very, very nice. All right, next thing. I'm going to try this tea. Just regular old Lipton tea. Yep, 
very, very good. Uh, just a really nice, mild, uh, mild tea, not too, not too strong. Uh, it's got some, some, uh, some herbal floral notes to it, just like, uh, you know, your regular Lipton tea. So can't complain about that. Yeah, very good. And boy, you can hear that sizzling now. You can definitely hear that main sizzling. Um, I'm going to uh, give it a stir, and that is hot. It's not uh, not quite. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to burn it on the bottom. That's my fear. So I may have to do Plan B uh, with this with this main. Uh, but while we're waiting for that, let's try this uh, rice porridge with apple. Yeah, that that is excellent. Uh, kind of reminds me of like a rice pudding, only it's not pudding, but that's what, that's the taste that it really reminds me of. Uh, it's not, not too sweet, but just enough sweet. It's got some vanilla flavor and I can taste that apple, even though I couldn't really smell it. Uh, it's not very much, it's not, a, not a very, uh, prominent apple flavor. It's just in the, in the back. It's, it's, uh, just complements this rice porridge, but it is excellent. Yeah, I'd be very happy with this. Uh, I could eat, I could eat this every day. This is excellent. I've never had anything like it. So, that is excellent. All right, next thing we're going to try is the raisins. Everybody knows what raisins taste like, but we're going to give these a shot. Yeah, that heater is hot. I can feel that heat. So let's see what these are about. They're a lot smaller than your typical raisin. To me, it seems like. And they taste different. These have a... Uh, I don't know how to how to explain it, but they have a much different flavor than your normal pack of raisins, California raisins. But they're very very good. They're uh, if you can tell, they're not really sugar coated, but they have just enough sugar. So those are excellent. So all right. Before I go any further, I'm going to check on this. Uh, starting to smoke a lot. I just don't want to burn the bottom of the of the dish, so I may get this uh, out onto a plate or out into a pan, heat it up, and then I'll be back. All right, I actually think that uh, this is probably done. So what I'm going to do is put it out. get that put out and then yeah it smells like it's burning on the bottom I'm sure that would be kind of tough to deal with uh, but at least you can get it somewhat somewhat warm I, I don't uh, I don't know beggars can't be choosers I guess and if you want a hot meal that's the way you're going to have to do it. So and this, uh, this came off. So I think I'm going to get that out. See if I can do this with my left hand and with a crappy spoon. Yeah, there's some ash in there, but whatever. I'll try to avoid the ash, but yeah, that was getting cooked on the bottom. Definitely little burnt on the bottom so I'm glad I decided to uh, 
take that off. Okay. All right. Try to get some of that ash out of there. Actually, this little burnt bit right here, I think is going to be fantastic. So I'm going to give that a shot. Oh, yeah. That burnt, it's not quite burnt, it's just crispy from the bottom of the can. That is fantastic. Uh, it tastes like a like a deconstructed pea soup, I guess, is how I could explain it. It's got the smokiness of the bacon, which you would get from the ham bone in the split pea soup. Um, the peas, even though they're not green, they're not split peas, but uh, they taste just like it. I, you know, the only thing, my only comment about this would be that it's a little dry. That would be my only comment. Um, it's heated through good enough. Um, so I think I took it out at the right time. Uh, it's got chunks of bacon and they almost look like chunks of ham, not bacon. And there's actually a lot of chunks, which I was suspecting there wouldn't be that much. It'd be mostly peas, but it's got plenty of meat in that, uh, this is absolutely fantastic. I love split pea soup. I love that smokiness of this bacon. Um, this is by far, uh, I know the last ration I did, the MCW, I said was the best ration I've had. So far, this main is by far the best. This is fantastic. I could see it'd be like, Winning the lottery, if you were to get one of these, uh, or, or, you know, whatever. I mean, the, these, these are probably highly sought, sought after. Um, I, who, who doesn't like bacon, right? I know some people don't like the split pea soup, the texture and the peas. I can see that. But for me, this is absolutely spectacular. The, there's no complaints with this. And if you had the time, maybe getting it out onto a pan, like a cast iron pan, and getting getting uh, these crispy, not quite burnt, but crispy bits, uh, you know, and just keep mixing them until you get all these crispy bits in there, that would be the way to go. Yeah. Mm. This is fantastic i'm definitely i'm definitely going to finish this um there's no doubt about it but i'll do that later i gotta get this crap off the table uh, i have i think one more thing to uh to do oh one thing i didn't do that i wanted to do that i almost forgot to do I want to try. I want to try a little bit of this uh, bread with with the uh, pea puree. All right, so probably a white bread might be better. Um. 
it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. But it's really dry. Uh, this pea puree with bacon is dry to begin with. And then when you uh, mix it with this rye bread that's also dry, it, it the flavor is, is outstanding, but it's just really hard to eat. So, so far my take on this ration uh, is it's probably one of the better tasting so far. So, I'm going to get rid of this crap. And uh, I only have one more thing really to try, or two more things. Uh, but I want to get this stuff out of the way, and I'll be right back. Okay, um, I need a little coffee. That was dry. Really good coffee. Uh, so the next thing I need to try, I'm going to try this chocolate bar. Kind of came apart a little bit, but looks very good. Uh, I don't know what that says on there. Ruta? Not really sure what that says. Uh, probably because it's Latvian. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so that is a very good chocolate. Um, it's kind of on the darker side. Uh, looks like dark chocolate, but not too dark. It kind of melts in your mouth, so it's got a really good, uh, really good chew. It just kind of melts right as you start chewing it really nicely. And uh, I think it's an excellent chocolate. Um, it's a little on the sweeter, darker side, uh, but that's fine. I like that. Um, I'm definitely going to try a bite of this and a bite of the coffee or a drink of the coffee. Oh yeah. Yep. That's great. Uh, that combination, the chocolate and the coffee, outstanding. So, um, so that's really it for everything we need to try. There is this power gum that I that snuck into the uh, snuck into the accessory packet. Well, I just didn't see it. So let's see what this is about. Kind of looks like. I would say, kind of looks like, I guess, dentine or, tri or trident, but a little bit bigger. So, okay. Um, got a really good spearmint flavor, but not too overpowering, not too, too sweet. It's got a little, it's a little bit, I guess you'd say grainy when you first start to chew it, but and then it starts to loosen up and um, it's uh, got a really nice chew. It kind of reminds me of something like, uh, like if you were to take Hubba Bubba and flatten it, it's got that kind of, that kind of texture. I like that. That's, that's excellent gum. So, okay, well, there you have it. That is the uh, Latvian menu number seven, pea puree with smoked bacon. Um, like I said, I think this is probably my favorite ration I've had so far as far as the main. The rye bread, not the greatest. A little dry, a good flavor. A, you know, same with the, the pea puree. That is a little dry and the chocolate was great those two jams the jams are they're amazing um 
I, I, I really have to say that's some of the best jam I've had, actually. I, I don't know. It, that's amazing. And this uh, rice porridge, again, something that is different that I've never really had. Uh, and that texture is great. It just was a, a great flavor. Um, so really, the only, my only issue, I think, with this ration is you don't, it doesn't come, come with a drink. You get the coffee, and you get four coffees, which is great. That's, that's great. So you got the coffee, you got the tea, but you don't have a drink. Um, I happen to have a drink. But, uh. You know, if you're if you're on the front lines and you got to chow one of these down, you know you don't have any you don't have any drink, and especially with the dryness of this rye bread and the pea puree. Even though the pea puree is really super good, I think you, you need to have some kind of some kind of drink with this. So that would be my only real problem with this ration. Otherwise, I think it's great. Um, going to be hard to top this uh, pea puree with bacon that was absolutely fantastic if you uh any of you other reviewers out there if you haven't had one of these yet um and i know they're hard to get up get a hold of right now but if you can get a hold of one this menu is fantastic and i'm sure other latvian ones are fantastic too and i'd love to try all of them but uh anyways thank you for uh watching this video and I, uh, I would appreciate it if you liked the video, press the like button, and then subscribe. And uh, I'll be coming back with, uh, with another review at, at some point, probably within the next week. Um, I've got plenty more to review. So I hope you all have a, a great weekend.